What makes BKT one of the leading manufacturers of off-highway tires in the world? What is the driving force that turned a single tire manufacturing unit in Aurangabad, India into a company with a global footprint across 130 countries? It started with the vision put forward by the company's CEO, Mr. Arvind Podar. I want BKT to become one of the top names in off-highway tires, not just in India, but in the world. Anything we create must be better than the best in the world, be it equipment, infrastructure or the entire project itself. The BKT team took these words as a mission statement and thus began the story of the company's most ambitious undertaking yet. An off-highway tire plant, the largest that the country and perhaps the world had ever seen, right in the middle of Bhuj, in the state of Gujarat, India. We needed a place close to the seaport. We needed a government which supported business-friendly policies. And above all, we needed 300 acres of continuous land. This was needed to achieve the BKT vision. And that's why Gujarat was the obvious choice. But finding the right location was only the first step in what proved to be a long and difficult journey. After months of tedious counting, the team found 312 acres of land, only to realize that it belonged to several different private owners. What's more, completing the project would require half a billion US dollars, which was the entire net worth of the company at that time. Despite this, the amount was finally raised and the project started taking its shape. But the team's relief was short-lived. When we started off our journey and the plant was getting built up, there was nothing in this area. Hardly any infrastructural facility was available, except thorny bushes and the tree thickets infested with herds of wild animals. There was no drinking water, no internal roads, no electricity. The land had to be developed, labelled and cleared for industrial purpose. We had to take permission from several government agencies and local bodies, including the villagers, for getting water and electricity to the plant. Despite all these challenges, we never lost sight of our deadlines. Nevertheless, the team persevered. Construction didn't halt for a single day. Engineers and laborers alike faced unimaginable hardships to ensure that. In the beginning, there was no office and we used to sit in a container. No canteen facilities was available. We used to take food outside Dabas. You know, Bhuj is a desert, dust is there and no regular rains are there. But whenever rains is, it's literally flooding. No trucks movements are there. With this situation, how we manage, it's very difficult to tell you. The core team never gave up despite this. But the rest of the manpower was another story. It was difficult to convince people to work with us. The working conditions were very taxing, very punishing. The contractors refused to work with us. The workers and other staff members were also difficult to get on board. The people we got on board were difficult to retain. And then there was a scramble to replace them fast. From that scenario to where we are now today has been a long journey. Today, the Bhuj plant attracts workers and talent from all over the state and country and it receives them with a variety of thoughtful, well-planned amenities. Residences for 400 families, bachelor apartments for 200 people, 30 lavish guest rooms, clubhouse, restaurant, gym, recreational facilities, and a banquet hall. It has the resources to match as well. Two huge water reservoirs and an independent pipeline ensure abundant water supply. A custom-built power plant and a high power generator safeguard against power failures. A 37 kilometer piped firefighting system and rooftops that can stand strong desert winds point to cautious planning. Since Bhuj is a seismic zone, the buildings are earthquake resistant and can withstand tremors measuring up to nine on a Richter scale. And that isn't all. The aim was to have the best of class machinery and amenities in the world. We wanted the Bhuj plant to be a pioneer of sorts in terms of both size and scale. So we have nearly three times more mixers than the industry standard. There is a flyover to transport raw materials, thereby reducing double handling. 
a conveyor belt to transport coal. Most of our raw material is imported and we have fully automated machines for greater speed, accuracy and efficiency. The state-of-art plant would be manufacturing the entire range of BKT products like agricultural, industrial and construction with major focus on OTR radial tires including giant OTR radial tires. Our entire R&D facility is right there on the premises. We even have a first of its kind testing track to put our tires through their paces. And we are already getting requests from various equipment manufacturers who want to use it to test their products as well. The completion of the Butch plant is not an ending, but a new beginning for BKT. The beginning of a new chapter of its success story, in which this new plant will play an integral part and prove to be a game changer for BKT. The journey from ideation to execution has been an extremely challenging one as far as the bush plant is concerned. I would like to personally thank each and every person involved in this process, from the junior most member to the board of directors, our customers, business partners and of course the locals, without whose support and contribution this dream would never be made into reality.